All right. So for this evening, I think uh, we wanted to just check in and kind of see um, where we're at, what we would like to focus on to prepare for the next round of um, credentialing, which I believe is later this month. And then um, see if we want to practice uh, specific things or, um, uh, you know, what, what people want to work on. And then um, hear any updates from everyone. So um, let's see here. Oh yeah, let me, um, I need to update my name on the Zoom. Let's see. Oh, there's Judy. Hi, Judy. Welcome. And there's Courtney joining. All right. Um, well, to get us started, uh, Miss Marion, would you be able to do our opening? Bay Dalit Sai. Oh, were you talking to me? Oh, Miss Marion, I was wondering if you could get our, our get a session started today and do our opening prayer. They don't say. Oh, it's a they are the king of a god, they got. They are the young. They are the young. Hi, young daughter, daughter, oh god. Oh, corn town. I'm being on. Hey, go, it's a little game, so go, tummy go, my tongue go. Go, it don't go, it more, he go. ま、でけど。か。てんごう。てんほんでけ。あ、きおんでどうぞ。あんてんほんでどうさたが。あ、ほんでおんでん。てんごう。あんどたいどうてき。ごきゃそう。てんごう。え、え、ま、あ。てん
Saturday the 20th. All right. And that was the one that starts at, um, was it 10 a.m.? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, and where is the location again? I was looking in the chat, but. I think it was here. Okay. Yeah, I think it's here in Norman at the District 7. At District 7. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Um. So for everyone here on the line, um, what are you thinking would be most helpful to help you prepare for that credentialing session? So if we could just kind of go around the room and see what everyone would like to focus on. On the inside, uh, Melody or um, Grandma Martha, this is Alice Ann. Um, at the credentialing session, is it just conversation that um, they're going to, I guess that would be, that's my question is, in order to figure out what to focus on, what is going to be at that credentialing session that we're going to be tested on? <clears throat> I don't think it's just that, but I have to look at my notes now. <laughs> I'm going to go get my notes and I'll take it back to you. Uh, um, how, who's all, um, is anybody level two yet? Um, oh, that's a good question. Hanya Heigl. I know I'm trying for level two. Uh, yeah. Melody. Uh, picture. Um, I have, um, I have the pronoun. That's what I need to work on for level two. And okay. I I believe I have two of the other parts done and I'm waiting on Dang to tell me about that story, about the reading of the story, the pronunciation, that part. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm worried about the pronoun part. <laughs> so you're working on the pronouns. Okay. Yes. That's yes. helpful to know. Oh, good. It sounds good. like you're almost um, credential done. I think, right? She's like the most Strong. she's Strong. the one got the most accomplished so far, maybe, as far as I know. Sounds That's like good. it. I and think I, I'm online though, so I don't even know. I need airfare if you guys got it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh um Courtney Honda and Saital, what did you get tested on last time? Was that conversation that you got? Courtney. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think just conversation. And I still I won't be there the twentieth, but probably pronouns. Oh, yeah. is where I need to focus on. Mm -hmm. Courtney Platt passed with flying colors. She just did it off the fly. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Well, so I hear a couple of us are working on pronouns, so that's that's good to hear. Um. Alisan, what did you did you say what you wanted to focus on or what your kind of your goal is? I think I need to focus on conversation and pronouns, but honestly, to be honest, um I haven't really studied a lot. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm I need to get into the actual practice of speaking every day like when I was level one I was um when I was studying for that it seems like we almost had language almost every day at that point you know and so um 
I don't um, find that I'm making time for it and I just need to make time for it. And maybe now that the holidays are over, I can focus on that more. So I'm going to fess up and say that I need to just focus on all areas of language because I've been really um, lax in um, speaking it every day. So, well, it's always good to, you know, the more we practice, the better, the easier, you know, the more familiar it'll get. So, yeah, um, I think like for me, that's, that's, I need to focus on the pronouns and um, I can always use conversation as well to just, um, one thing that I have to do still is finish recording my, um, the reading. So that's what I'm working on right now, but I agree with the pronouns thing. That would help, I think. Sounds like a lot of us. Um, so conversations, I think, will help. Like, it sounds like will help everyone also. Um, so uh, let's see. Uh, who else? Kathy, did you find figure out what you wanted to focus on? I'm doing my reading right now, you know, like halfway through. Okay. So I think that uh, Dane took us in, did, I think, kinship and something else. And does he have a thing on what we did? Because I, I forgot. He probably I'm does. He probably does. Um, might have to message him and find out. Or unless uh, Grandma D or Grandma Martha or Miss Velma, maybe they'll know. On your high wall. Oh, we we met the last time. We listened to stories. Remember, we'll have to go over some stories and translate and read them. Oh, some were on recordings and some did theirs in person. And so we looked at those, but we feel like there's some still some more missing, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think they want to do that. Uh, let's see. Our last meeting was the 29th of November. And that's when we um, picked that time to come in on December 6th and listen to the what was available on the stories and rated those. But like I said, we're missing some people that haven't done their shit. Uh, and then we'll um, meet in person at the District 7 office on January 20th from 9, I think it's at 9, 9 to 10 to come in. And whenever they get finished, we'll leave. Um, if people can't come in on the 20th, he said we could also meet on the 27th, I think he said. It's a weekend later. And one thing he wanted to do wanted to do was um meet with um Kamu Museum and the language program office do before we go into this. So we still have some work to do with them before they we even have that meeting. Oh. But I think the concentration really is on the stories. And we had some good ones, you know. It's the ones that we've been looking at, you know, reading through. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Like, um, like the captive woman, and there's different ones like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we were listening for pronunciation, how, how you can read that story in Kiowa. And if you know it well enough to give it back and translate it, that's basically what that is. And most of it was like uh, level two stories. Oh. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You get to make up your own story and tell us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you said uh, that, so the meeting on the 20th, so that's for sure. But if people can't make it that day, then the board language board's going to meet again on the 27th as well? Like, or is it either or? Um, I'm not sure if it's either or, but I remember those two dates you gave us. Like, okay. I mean, it could be if we can't meet on the 20th for some reason. 
you can just push it back to the next weekend. I think that's oh. amazing. Okay, awesome. That's helpful. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Does anyone have any questions from that? I'm quite nervous about the story, though. I mean, I don't even know if I'm doing it or, you know, if it even sounds right. I got halfway through and I'm just like, really, you know, it, it takes a long time, you know. So, yeah, kind of, oh. kind of excited, but then it's like, oh no, <laughs> if it's wrong, it's like, great, you know, it's like, ah. Oh. How do you say that to our mentors? Oh. Yeah. Huh. Um, on the stories, I know it's supposed to be an individual recording. Is this supposed? To, is it intended to be a cold reading, like meaning that you've never tried it before and you have to? It's like a test on being able to pronounce it, or is it something that we could read aloud with a mentor and get some feedback on pronunciation? I think. Well, so far, no. Nobody has gone that route. They just um, either recorded or in person did their stories. You know, we haven't asked had anybody come back to us and ask to go through it. But I think we could do it. We have time to do it. I was just curious because yeah. um because Kathy, you know, she just mentioned that you know she's not sure if she's on the right track, and mm -hmm. so I was just wondering, like, is there is that an option? And if it's an option, could, maybe we could do a breakout room for people to jump in and practice reading with each other? I don't know. I I was just curious. Yeah. Well, for first timers, I think it would be a help, you know, to work with a mentor to go through it. Mm -hmm. if they're having a problem with it. But um, yeah, there were about three or four people that did theirs and they did it. Cricket was one, I think um, Nelson was the other. And Ramon was there in person. He did his in person. Oh. The other mentor said they sounded good when they were speaking it. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so oh, it looks like uh Kathy's internet is acting up, but um just in case she logs back on, we can maybe mention that if she wants to, she could maybe practice in a Zoom room with a mentor mm -hmm. and yeah. get some feedback of what she has so far and see how, how it's going. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to write that down. I'm, I'm putting in the chat some notes from what we've been discussing. Um, Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Who, who did we hear from? Uh, Aunt Carolyn, did did you share any thoughts that you have on what you'd like to focus on? What would be helpful? I guess the pronouns. That's what everyone seems to bring up. Oh. All right. Awesome. And uh, Courtney. Dobby. Not all of the uh the pronouns. Oh. Uto he Kali. I'd probably say same. Not all. Oh. 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 So it sounds like we have a pretty pretty big uh focus, a lot of interest in the pronouns practice. And then conversational practice, and then read alouds for the stories. That's a that's a good. Uh, I feel like that's a good, some good feedback. Um. Oh um. Oh, Um. 
Alison has a uh, um, question in the chat. Would you be able to share with us the uh, topics for the credentialing for level two? Let me look in the chat. Well, I know with the um the stories that people are going over are the exact ones that we've already looked at. Um, and uh, I think they're in just the kind of stories that we have in there. And um, like one of them is a captive woman and one is a kind man. Somebody did a kind man. Um, let's see, I can't think of the third one. Um, there were about three or four topics that we heard. And I think you would stick with that because they're, you know, they're pretty basic instead of going out and getting something altogether different and you're not comfortable with. But I think if you use those and you hear other people saying it, then it will it'll be easy to study, I think. But yeah, we're just using a simple storyline so that you can record or do it in person and at the meeting or something. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, I can share my screen really quick and we can look at the credentialing folder mm -hmm. just to refresh everyone's memory on where to find it. Um, okay. I have them on my screen too, but I have to get out of this and go look at it. <laughs> well, I'll try <laughs> to bring it up. Uh, can you see uh, the Google Drive here? Mm -hmm. So I'm in the credentialing study material. So here's all the folders. And then there's these two checklists right here, level one and level two. So mm -hmm. I don't know, um, Alice, Anne, if what you're mentioning, um, if you're looking for the checklist for level two, it's right here, which explains like all the requirements. Yeah, I um, yeah. link on um, looking in my drive. So I'll look at that. Thank you. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah, I'm glad uh, I'm glad that's here because it'll help. And then it also explains how to submit, how to submit them. Mm -hmm. um, we could probably practice um, the now, like the grammar part. We could try doing this and then maybe look at the study stacks. We did a little bit of that over the summer using the study stacks. And I feel like that helped for those that were going for the pronoun part in the summertime. So maybe we can try that this, um, you know, over the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and then the conversations, uh, let's see. The conversations are from that same PowerPoint that we've been referencing, right? And I think that's what all of our lesson handouts are based on, mm -hmm. um, which is, I know a couple of you mentioned the conversations, which I believe are these uh, right here. Right, is this the right one? Uh, Grandma? That looks like. Okay. Yeah, this conversation. Oh. Okay, so this, these are all, so these lessons, see the slides, it says lesson five, direction. So the, these, this, the language here in this PowerPoint, it corresponds to our handouts for our lessons that we've been working on um, this past year. So all those uh, PDFs, show you, if you go to learnkiowa.org, and you go to lessons and adult learning. Um, so when you click on this and you go to learn Kiowa now, and you go down to right here, see this lesson, the lesson plan, you can download the file. Um, that's the same, those are the same uh, lessons that we've been working on in our sessions. Mm -hmm. And all the languages, it corresponds to the slides 
that are here in this the PowerPoint that will be tested on for the conversations. So you have two different sources as resources to practice the conversations. Um, of course, you have the slides here um, that are in the Google Drive and then the lesson plans and also our recordings of our sessions for each of those is also on the website here. And so if you go here to lessons, adult learning, and then you just click on whatever one you want to, you want to work on. Um, if you want to access all those materials in one place, I know I share them, I email them, but now they're all on a website. So hopefully it'll make it a lot easier for everyone. Like if you, um, you know, so you don't have to search your emails anymore. You can just go to this website and either download it or just pull it up on your screen. You could also just click on it right from the little menu there and it'll pull it up. So um, that's a resource there to practice uh, for the conversational part. And then um, let's see, pronunciation and reading. Um, oh, and there's a couple of back, Kathy. Um, so the conversation, the pronunciation and reading for level two. Um, so if you're if you're choosing this folder, uh, Miss Gonzalez, then you would read two mm -hmm. of these, and then all the recordings are there, so you can listen to it to shadow it. And then if you're going for if you want to read one of the stories, then you just read one of them. So the recording and the story is there as well. Yeah. Um. Uh, so Kathy, what we met, what we were sharing. Um, I saw that you had dropped off the call, but um, what we wanted to share is um, if you would like to get some feedback on how you're reading the story, you could, we could make a breakout room and then you could jump in with uh, Grandma Martha or um, Grandma D and, or Miss Velma, you know, whoever's available and who can jump into a breakout. And then you could, if you're, if you want to read it aloud, and get some feedback on your pronunciation. Like the mentors said, they're willing to work with us on that. Or maybe playing what I have recorded already or? You could, yeah. If you already have it going, you know, and you haven't submitted it yet. Mm -hmm. We can listen to it. Is that okay, uh, Grandma? Yeah, that, we could listen to it if you already have some of it recorded. Oh. Yeah. That way you can get some feedback before you submit. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, okay, so that's the story, the pronunciation and reading. Um, and then we went over the conversation part. Um, don't forget that the glossary was updated. Well, there is an updated version. And the updated version is over here on the website. It's right here. And this is from 2023. There's an updated glossary. Um, okay, now grammar. So for grammar, we have the... Um, PowerPoint, but there's also study stacks, which we were um, doing. Uh, we were doing a lot of practice last summer um, on study stacks. So, and we were also kind of looking at the PowerPoint to supplement what we were doing on study stacks. So we could certainly practice that, like pull this up and look. Um, and it looks kind of weird because it's in a Google slide. I'd have to pull up the actual, we have to download it as a PowerPoint to see the formatting correctly, but um, I believe it's in study stacks, right? Let's go to study stacks. Level two, yeah. Level two, animate singular nouns. Level two, uh, singular, level two, plural, long form. Human animate. So we could also use study steps to practice in our sessions too. 
All right, so that is the credentialing study material, um, all of the different pieces and some resources to support your practice. And then, um, so it sounds like the majority of you um, would like support with the um, practicing grammar and pronouns. So that's probably maybe a good focus that we can work on. And then we can do some conversation and then um, have, maybe use breakout rooms uh, to do some feedback on the reading, the read alouds. Does that sound, sound like a plan? Sounds good. All right, let me stop sharing my screen. I'm gonna put the uh, website in the chat so that way people can check it out if you want to access the lessons. Um, okay. Uh, all right, where do we want to start? We have, we're here till 8.30. So we have about 45 minutes left tonight. Uh, what would you all like to work on? I'd be a study stack. All right, study stacks. Let's see, okay, let me share my screen again. All right, so any, I'll wait till you can see it. Um, any preference? <laughs> <laughs> so we have the level twos right here. Let me just make sure those are, yeah, those are all. Oh, hi. Hi. How you doing? Just come back. Oh, Miss Marion, we can hear you. Anything? <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so what do you what do you want to start with? We have animate singular nouns, singular nouns, plural nouns, long form, animate human in crowd only. Where do you want to start? So we start at the top, work our way down. <laughs> oh, start at the start at the top. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, animate singular nouns. Okay, so let's look. Um, so if we go down here, so this has, uh, these are all um, house. So here's all the phrases. House I saw it, house you saw it, house she or he saw it, house mine it is, house yours it is, house his, hers, house for me you give it, house it is, house I saw them too. So these are all the them twos. And then they too are, yours they too are. And then house I saw them, you saw, he see saw. So, oh my gosh, tongue twisters. Okay. <laughs> um, so remember, this is um, going to quiz us because in when we uh, do the credentialing, what is it, what did it say on that checklist? Now I have to go back to that level two checklist. Let me find it. There it is. My window keeps covering it up. Keeps disappearing on me. Okay. Uh, where is, there it is. Okay, so it says for grammar, the evaluator will say the sentences in English from the nouns PowerPoint. And the candidate is to translate the sentences from English to Kiowa. Okay, so the nouns PowerPoint is this one. <laughs> All right, so this will take a couple, a little bit of navigating here. So, house I saw it. First off, does anyone have uh, the answer? Does anyone know what this is? Uh, not the mentors yet, but from the learners. <laughs> uh, who knows this one? Does anyone want to take a stab at it? 
Is it Doig? Doig de Bone? Yeah, Doig de Bone. Yeah. Bone. Is that correct, um, Hotzel Ha, uh, mentors? Sounds good. Yeah, we can both. I saw it. I saw the house. I'm trying to. Is this is this the right PowerPoint? Looks kind of different there. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, I was looking for house. <laughs> uh, let's see. I was trying to find the cheat sheet for us for the Kiowa version. I don't think we have one for house. Well, I mean, I haven't seen one for house. I thought we did. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, yeah, hi, go. At least uh, we knew what it was. Hey, no, <laughs> <laughs> At least you remembered, so you figured it out. <laughs> um... Oh, that's level one. Thank God, I'm looking at the wrong thing. We're doing level two. Okay. Oh, it still says level one. Is this the right one? Am I in the wrong spot? I feel like I'm in the wrong spot. Um, does anyone have a level two PowerPoint? I'm I'm gonna look at my downloads on my computer really quick because I might have downloaded one. I think uh didn't Dane share one in the chat like a while back when he was giving updates last month, maybe. I might be imagining things. I'm not really sure. I'm Okay, so I see in my downloads that there's this one that says Grammar Revised, which I think that's the same one that's on the Google Drive. Help, we need Dane. We have a question for him. Oh, well, we have our mentors on here to tell us if we're right or wrong. So we'll just continue. I think that's right. But I don't know if the studies like the when I look at the slides um, for grammar, these were updated in tw June 2023. So I would think that the <clears throat> the what's in the drive is going to be most updated. I just don't know if the study stacks is reflective of that, I guess. Oh, I see but, what you mean. Okay. So, so, uh, okay. so then how, I guess we just use the PowerPoint then, right? Uh, just so we're studying, I guess, the most updated. And this is a correct one. Oh, I see Courtney here. Yeah, this is the correct one, right? So I think so, because it's got all the. Voices in it. Two flowers, dogs. I'm going to compare one of the older versions of the PowerPoints. That says level one, but when you're looking at level two. Well, see, this says level one because look, it has flowers, dogs, <laughs> and shoes. But oh. level two is different, right? I thought, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. It says level one. Because I thought we already did this one for level one. 
Didn't we already do this? Oh. Hanya Haiga. So good, Goma. Yeah, Tom. It looks like one to me rather than two. It but... does. One. Yeah. It even but says it... one, but you wanted well, two. It's in the uh, level two folder. So maybe, let's see. Does anyone have the chat? I wonder if we can scroll. Let me stop sharing for a second. Um, I feel like that house one is is accurate. I remember we were trying to practice that last summer. I'm going to look in our chat because I thought Dane shared with us a PowerPoint from when he was doing his updates. Let me scroll because our chat, our chat from this session, it um it keeps going like from all of our sessions. So I'm scrolling way back. I'm in October right now, trying to see if uh, there's a PowerPoint that we need to download. Okay, so I guess we have a question for uh, the credentialing board then. <laughs> what is the correct study material <laughs> that we should be studying for level two uh, grammar? On my notes, I have level two, but I have stories under that rather than that grammar. I don't have anything on the grammar part. Okay. But we have level two that we're trying to get everybody through, you know. And some people still need to finish one, I think. Oh. Weren't they, they doing English to Kiowa and then Kiowa to English for level two? Yeah. yeah. Level one was Kiowa, English to Kiowa, and then level two was the reverse. Mm hmm Because in level two, we say it in English and you say it back in Kiowa. So it's the same thing as level one. So, mm -hmm. okay, so it would be flower, mm -hmm. dog, and shoe all for level two also because you're just reversing the Kiowa into English for level okay. two. Okay. Remember so that's what I remember Dane, Dane saying. Okay, that makes sense. So then for, if we're gonna study, then we would, we would want to hear, we would need, for level two, we would need to hear the Kiowa version and then translate into English. That's level one. Level two is hearing it in English and translating it into Kiowa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you're right, Courtney, the study stacks aren't updated. Right. For level two. Okay. okay. So then we need to use the PowerPoint. Okay, so I just downloaded it. So let me stop sharing and then I can share the PowerPoint on screen. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, that formatting looks a lot better when you download it. Let's see. Okay. Can everyone see this? The PowerPoint now. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. Um, so we're going to see it in English or hear it in English, and then we have to say it in Kiowa. So basically, we're going to be doing, um, let's find it. This part. So slides. 9, 10, and 11. Pretty sure. Oh, all I had to do is scroll down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's it's been a long day. 
<laughs> so when you open the PowerPoint, just keep scrolling. <laughs> and you'll see level wow. two. Okay. Um, okay, okay, so these are different then. So what it is I need in order to make my life Right? Is that right? Are we doing the right thing? <laughs> it looks like more like what you're trying to get to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but we're doing plums or anything like that. We're doing huh. I don't know. Now I'm confused. Uh me too. Because <laughs> now I scrolled down. Mary did the three. And it says Every... level two. <laughs> I think that's level two. I think that we um I think we just had a shoes, dog, and flower on level one right okay so so now we're gonna learn more pro okay that's where house yeah. comes in okay there's houses mm -hmm. all right we're getting we're figuring it out <laughs> um okay so that means that the study stack is correct then right so everyone uh hopefully let me see if i can upload this powerpoint to the chat and then you can have it um if you know how to download it from the Zoom chat. And let's see if I can figure out how to upload a file. No, Dane does it all the time. There it is. Computer. Oh, uh, let me stop sharing really quick. Let me close this out. So it sounds like we can use the study stack. So everyone would just need the uh, the level two PowerPoint up so you can practice and follow along. Um. Hey, Thal, let me upload this. Oh, sorry, getting worried there. Like, I swear Dane said it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep scrolling. <laughs> Let's see. where. <clears throat> now I'm trying to find the, the file that I just downloaded. No. All right, and we're going to try to practice some of those level two uh, nouns and grammar. There it is. Okay. Okay, there's the PowerPoint that's um, uploading in the chat. Um, Is anyone like, uh, would anyone like a PDF version of the PowerPoint, like just to look at instead of clicking on the thing to hear the audio? If there's, yeah, there's audio in it. Or like if you want to print it off, I know some of you like printing it. I like printing them off so I can read it. I'll Aww. make a, okay, I'll make a PDF version and then I'll put that in the chat also. So this is Iowa oh. nouns template level one and two. Okay, now I'm gonna upload this in the chat as well. And you'll see the little speaker thingies on there, but obviously it's a PDF, so you won't be able to click on it. You'll have to download the PowerPoint version to hear the audio. Okay. Let me know if anyone can access those files in the chat. You should be able to click on the file and download it to your computer. And then it'll open up in your downloads folder. So let me know if anyone has trouble with that. No, I got it. Thank you. I hope. Yay. Now that I know where to find the level two nouns, I'm going to print that off tonight <laughs> for me <laughs> to practice. Okay. Let's go back to. So since. We are not as familiar with these nouns. Maybe we should start by pronouncing the Kiowa versions of all the sentences first. What do you guys think? 
or what, what's the best place to start here? Sorry, I'm not sharing my screen. Let me let me share my screen again. I was just scrolling around. Okay, it says it's loading. I need to go off camera. I don't think my internet is cooperating. Okay. Um, can you see the PowerPoint now? Oh. Okay. So here are the types of nouns. So we have the noun and then the pronunciation for the long form and then the pronunciation for the plural and then singular and then tree plant noun. And then here are the types of nouns in the different types of sentences. So these are singular noun sentences. So three-part sentence, possessive mental sentence here, two-part sentence, and basic sentence. So like we just need to, okay, Allah is just plum. Oh, right. so here's the here's the actual. So maybe we got to start oh. here with the how to I'll pronounce the nouns. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, and here's the the kind of cheat sheet on the priority for the nouns. Okay, so can we have? Um, let's see, who do we still have on the call? For our mentors, uh, we have Grandma. Uh, sorry. Um, let me double check. Yeah, those are our mentors. So if we could have each of you pronounce, um, maybe just uh read off this line, like this all this whole line here. So basically one plum, two plums, and then three or more plums. Mm -hmm. And, and and then if you just take turns, I have my ovens beeping, so I got to run and turn it off real quick. But uh, if we could start uh, with um, Tsogukoma first, um, and then Grandma D, then um, the Miss Marion. Okay. Uh, cool. I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll go. One, two, and three points. Hello, go. Hello, go. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Did we get through it? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so let's see. Let's go. How about we do the next two together? So this and this, the house, I mean, shirt and house. Okay. And then we'll do this, the last one on its own. Um, and then we'll pronounce it as part of the sentences, the learners. But we just want to hear the correct pronunciation for each of these nouns. Uh, so, Tsogukoma. Holda, holda. Do, do. Hey, help, Kimo. Oh, older, do. Oh, it's old, oi. Oh. 
I think she's muted still. <clears throat> All right, let's go to. Uh, oh. oh, there you are. Yeah, I was <laughs> muted. Yeah. Okay, hold up. And dope. Aho. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Yeah, all right. Uh -oh. I got hold up. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it always couldn't be that way when you say it. <laughs> okay, this this line is one tree ah oh, the ah oh, the ah. Oh. Ah the ah the ah the ah the ah. Oh, oh, all right, ready, learners. Uh, uh, oh, oh, um, which one is the one we'll be tested on? Let's see, this is singular noun. Dual noun, plural noun. And then we have the give it, he, she. Oh, it's within here. Okay. All right. So I guess, uh, let's see, I, I don't know. I'm like, um, What's easier? What what does everyone like to look at? Is this easier to to conceptualize with everything all on the same page? Or do you want to go to these slides where we hear the pronunciation and we do the the meaning of the uh each going through each of the types? Because these slides break it up into the different uh numbers of things. What's easier to read? I like that one. This one right here? Or the one with the picture? The big picture. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to read the little type there. For, I don't know. It's... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. We could do this one. Um, okay. So... I guess we'll start at the top here with the long form noun with the plums. Um, oh, sorry, I was on the wrong slide. This one, singular noun sentences. And then we'll do those first and then we'll do dual noun and then we'll do plural. So we'll start with singular first. Okay, um, what's the easiest way to do this? So if we maybe hear the pronunciation, do we want to go like all maybe three part number sentences? one slide? Because maybe do the plum, you know, number thirty one slide, like you said there, because that other one was all confusing real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might be able to make this bigger. I wonder if I can zoom in. Let me see. Whoa. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So why don't we do... Because in this one, uh, remind me how the test, when we're tested... It said the evaluator will read one of these and then we have to, well, they'll read it in English, but we have to say it in Kiowa or, oh. or no, they'll say it in Kiowa, we have to say it in English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's good for us to know all of these because any of them is fair game, 
right? Mm -hmm. One. So what we're looking for is we're looking for the translation into English of this phrase here, the one I've highlighted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so to find the translation into English, Oh, I guess that's in the recording, isn't it? It's not on the slide. So we'll just have to know it. <laughs> Safe. Okay. Okay. So this is how we learn. We'll learn it together. All right. Let's start. I guess we'll start with the top one. Um, so uh, I guess, uh, Ogu Koma, when you start this, can you translate it? Like, can you say what? We're supposed to say in English. Mm -hmm. oh. I think we want to practice the pronunciation, but it'll be it'll help to know that we're getting the correct translation. <laughs> okay. All oh, go day bone. So you're see, saying you're seeing the plum. Or you're oh. looking at the plum. Either way, looking at the plum too. I hope. And this would be plum. These are long form, so. You saw the plums. All right. Um... I'm thinking what what would be what what does everyone have questions on? What would you what would be helpful learners? Probably the like day bay and day. <laughs> That way, and then Naga and ah, uh, and that so to way. Tra translate the the um pronouns. Ha. Huh. Okay. So, uh, Oguk Oma. So the day here. Mm -hmm. Oh God, they both. You saw the plums. He That's saw. Them. Okay. Saw he or she. Mm hmm. Saw the like, I, I, I saw or something. They mm -hmm. move. I it's saw. I the saw plum. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Look at my oh, I saw. They would be like, you look at it. You look at it. Oh, they move. He's like, you. We saw the plums. You're telling me you saw the plums. Yeah. We saw the plums. Oh. I thought I saw these on a slide. Or maybe it's just in the study stacks. It used to be on a slide. Uh, oh, maybe oh. I'm thinking of level one. I think I'm thinking at level one. Mm -hmm. So is this where we're supposed to memorize the pronoun charts? I'm guessing that's what we're getting at here. Yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> <laughs> day, day, and A is your uh, pronoun part. Okay. All of go is the plums. Bow is to see. And it depends on what you're seeing. If it's you, they're telling it. Or if you're going to the next level and talking about they they are seeing it, he or she or it saw that or whatever. Oh. All of them at the end. So weren't okay. these studies stacked before though? Yeah, or they're study just... stacks, but they're they're reversed. Like they're in study stacks as the English version. Mm -hmm. And then we would have to say the Kiowa version. Is that what we're trying to do? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can take Kiowa and translate it back to English. 
Oh man. Now I'm confused. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to study stacks then, since it sounds like that is updated. And um at least now we know where to find the Kiowa translations <laughs> with the diacritic marks, right? So uh let's oh. go back to study stacks here let's see i think it's loading um okay what were we just looking at we were looking at level two okay and that's why when we said animate singular nouns okay this is about all the houses mm -hmm. let's see if we can find the one with the plums hey, let me look yeah that would help you yeah let's see so level two singular Nope, that's still houses. Um, level two plural. Oh, there's shirt or dress. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's close. Maybe it's the next one. Uh, long form. Oh, long form. Yeah, it's long form. Okay. Mm -hmm, there you go. All right. So long form is the plum. So if we look here, you could kind of look at your cheat sheet. Here they are. Look at that. All right. Mm -hmm. Dane already did it for us. <laughs> we just didn't look hard enough. <laughs> Okay, so here's where you can find, I'm going to put this uh, uh, link in the chat. So that way, if you want to print it off for yourself, you could use that. Um, so this has the trans, so this is, uh, where's the one that we were just looking at? The Alaga uh, de Bon. De Bon, yeah. De, de Bon. Yeah. Uh, so that is this one. Plum, I see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just did, yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, this this is really helpful. All right, we're getting somewhere. Let's okay. go back up here. <laughs> let me. Uh, let's see. I guess there's 15 of them. Let me shuffle it really quick. Okay. uh well is there a way i yeah okay we'll just uh do this all right um plum his hers they two are so let's have our mentors uh pronounce this for us and then we can all pronounce it five minutes yeah we have five minutes <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. oh, those two apples. I mean, those two plums are here. <laughs> oh, oh, ho. Uh, he hope, Gemma. Hello, Gonenda. Hello, Gonenda. Oh, uh, old oi. Oh, no. Right. Okay, so now we're saying this one. Uh, oh, good. Come on. Oh, God. Not the. Plum is mine. Oh. Uh, Piho, come on. Hello, Vane. Hello, Vanado. Hello, Vanado. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, 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 Main bone. How long ago, main bone? How long ago, main bone? How long ago, main bone? 
<clears throat> oh. Oh. Oh God, name Oh God, name Look at the cards. Oh. Oh God, name Oh. It's a plum job. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to say this one. Uh, so good, come on. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so we got through like three of them, four technically. <laughs> okay, so now we know where to practice that. Um, we have like one minute left. Um, so let me stop sharing. So at least we figured out where our resources are and what, you know, how to correspond the study stats with the PowerPoint with our level two checklist. Um, so, you know, new year, new us, we can get back on track and get ready for this upcoming credentialing on the 20th. So I know we didn't get very far with like pronouncing or having a conversation, but I feel like, you know, we, we now kind of know our way around a little bit and we have a good place to start. So now we can do some practicing and um, next week we can pick back up and maybe see if we can practice the, uh, if we focus on the plums this week, then maybe next week we can quiz ourselves and see if we got any, anywhere with our studying. And then, um, Maybe next week uh, for anyone who wants to pre uh, get some feedback on reading. I know, Kathy, you said you have a recording. You want to get some feedback. So if our mentors um, maybe just plan next week uh, to be able to jump into a breakout room at some point for 15 or 20 minutes with uh, Kathy and whoever else wants to join, that way we can get some feedback going on that. All right. Oh, I, awesome. do. Awesome. I don't even think it's going to take 15 or 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to take like two minutes. <laughs> They're going to say restart. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. at least we'll know. <laughs> uh, okay, awesome. Well, uh, good good session. Great feedback from everyone. Um, let's go ahead and uh, close out. Um, let's see. Piho, uh, Gimma, Grimma, Bedot, Sai. Dalp, I'm on top. Only the title got to get get my hammer on time, Pedro. Get high, they hold up. They are they a hold to get on. Get a dog, get a dog, get a compound. Your son get up, they and high get up. A hold to get on. Go to the door, they Pedro. Amen. Over her. Aho. Aho. Hegaba oi bong ta. oi ta. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy studying. <laughs> oh. Have a good evening.